Hi guys, and happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, November 13th, and I've decided, because yesterday I did, uh, I was using the stamp set, oh my gosh, let me, I have to learn these names, spruced up. I was using the spruced up, which is a stamp set, dies, some of the dies are missing because I've been cutting out dies. This is a set, if you're using the dies, you should always have some sort of magnetic little um, plate around to hang on to your dies so you don't lose them. So anyway, I decided that I'm going to be focusing on a stamp set a weekend. So yesterday I did these using mostly featuring the stamps. So today I'm featuring the dies. Now, the fun thing about these dies is they cut out the insides and a lining. So now on the outline, you really want to either have your white glue, your multi-purpose glue, or you want to have them on adhesive sheets. So I'm not going to cut out all of the dies that I'm using for this card, but we're going to go ahead and show you. Just I'm going to cut one out just so you can see. And... Then we'll go ahead and we'll go on from there. So I think, let me see what I already have cut out. And these all have the, as you can see, the adhesive sheets on the back. So I just want to see what I have. So I have, uh, I need a long, one of the long skinny one, I think. Let's go ahead, as long as I'm cutting out, let's just cut out all three of these at once. That way we have them for next time. So you're going to have your base one, your base two, and two threes. Let's go ahead and put these down so we can cut them out. And okay, my dog just walked into my craft room slash office. So I think that means that my husband's going to be coming in now to get him for his W-A-L-K. Can't say the word out loud because you'll think he's going already. Okay, so here we go. So there you can see, and if you drop it, sometimes they fall out. There we go. Let me put these on the magnetic so we don't lose them. There we go. All right, let me just put there. So there we have that outline, that outline, that line, outline already fell out. Here, we're gonna go ahead and put these into my little um, sheet here of cutouts for later use. Okay, now we'll put all of those back on their magnetic sheet in a little bit. Let me go ahead and close this and set it over here out of the way. All right, so we have Evening Evergreen, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. We have a piece of very vanilla that's four by five and a fourth for the inside, and we have a piece of fresh freesia for the outside. Now, what we're also going to do is, and you'll have to look back at the videos. Remember when I did all of these, um, this was using the blends and the alcohol, the 91% alcohol on vellum to create these. So I'm going to try to figure out, because what I want to do is I want to have something where I can lay on here, but they all still show up. So it has to be a little bit, see, and these are all the same colors. Maybe that would work good, and these will still show up against it. Hmm. This is the hardest part. I love that because look how they are dripping down. Maybe that will be a good one. That might be a good one. I don't know. It's so hard, people. All right. So anyway, so what we're going to do is... We're going to make this. Now, this is a little bit bigger. We're going to, I'm going to flip through these really quick just to see if another one catches my eye. I like the fact that they're drippy. Those look too dark. Yeah, 
those are too dark. That's almost too light. That's almost too light. This is the problem when you make mounds and mounds of these. All right, and those are all kind of not as drippy. So, yeah, I'm going to go, I think, I really love that one, but I think I'm going to use this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a chunky, and we're going to make it a little bit smaller than what we're going to put over it. We're going to like layer these back and forth. All right, so let's go ahead. This is the longest one, and we want it to go over that a little bit. Now we're going to let's make it exactly. This is what happens when you don't plan ahead. So that looks like that comes out to be just over three and a fourth. So we're going to cut this to three and a fourth, and then we're gonna make it the five and a fourth across. So let's go first with the three and a fourth. I'm gonna keep some of those, because I really don't want that. So I'm gonna kind of go here, and now we'll line that up to that three and a fourth so we get that straight edge. Oh, there we go. You have to remember, here, let me cut just a little bit off that so we have a straight edge to go off of because sometimes you don't, it doesn't land on there, you know, completely. So here we go at three and a fourth. Now we'll see, we're also getting rid of that little puddle. So we have three and a fourth and I want to make this somewhat five and a fourth. It looks like that's a straight edge. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at five and a fourth there. It's also really good because then you also get rid, sorry, I'm muting my TV in case it comes off of, uh, pause. So then you're also getting, sorry, getting some of those puddles off the end. See how the puddles at the edges? All right. So again, this is bait, this is adhesive backed too. So all of this was adhesive backed. Oh no, this wasn't. No, okay, so that's even better. So I was afraid that maybe my um, adhesive would show through. So what I did was I adhes—I did adhesive on the actual um, vellum itself and then put it on white cardstock. I do remember that now. That video was a quite a while ago. Someone want to uh, go ahead and figure out when that video was for mine and put it in the comments? That would be great. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, and you know me, I want things to be straight. So let me put this down in the corner. I don't know if you, let me angle it. So I want it to be straight and I want it to be kind of even. So let's go just like that. Ah, perfect. All right. So now this is what I want to do. I think I want to put, I don't like, I'm going to put the darker one there in the middle. So it kind of really shows it. Because I feel like if I put the long, this one long one in, it just kind of fades in. And then I'm going to put this over the top. And then let's get the other one over here. Oh, I kind of like that. And then, is that too much if I do it that way? Yeah, I think it's too much if I do it that way. And I don't think I want to, let me see. Do I want to, I'll have them hanging off the top. I think I will, because now I can put... Now I can put my greeting here. Excellent. That's how I'm going to do it. So let me get this centered up here in on my zero. So there's one, one and a half. So we have to kind of go like that. Hopefully that's still in the picture frame, is it? Okay, it is. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and we'll peel off this backing. And 
and if I had a handful of nails instead of one nail. Yeah, see that one got caught on something and ripped it off. All right, so let's go ahead. We want to put it at the top of that and we want to put it right at that zero mark. And that point is right at that zero mark. Perfect. Oh, I love that. And see, since I don't want to put the green there, I want to put the green over here. So we're having contrasting colors. So let's go ahead. We're going to put this. Take this backing off. You want to put that right about the one mark. Which means we'll put this one at the one mark. On the other side. Sorry, I always forget as I come up that I'm probably going off, off the screen because I'm getting closer to the actual. Look at that, that one might be a little crooked. I don't care. Or do I care? Let me see, because you have a few seconds. Let me put that back at the zero. I think I want it to go a little bit over. Let me see if I can get that off because it hasn't been down that long. Oh, excellent. Okay, so if that's at the zero, you know what? I think I want to go at the one and a fourth. I like that better. A little less over um, overlay. So then there much better oh look how pretty that is oh my gosh so gorgeous and then we're going to take now you would think that i would want to use this as part oh that is pretty but i think i want to use the gold adhesive back swirls this is from the fitting florets that's on right now and i think it just kind of looks like what would be at the top of these. So I'm putting it right on the edge of that paper and that. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, that's cute. But this also would have been a very good uh, substitute to put them the long way so they look like they were actually the hooks. All right. Then let's get that stamp set out. I just put it somewhere. This is what happens with my space. I get so overwhelmed. Oh, I set my cutter down on it. Okay. So let's go ahead. There aren't any cutout words with this. So let's go ahead and we are gonna take, um, I think I wanna do the happy Christmas this time instead of the Merry Christmas. And I want to figure out how I'm going to do this. I think I want to do happy up here and Christmas down here. There's just enough space left. Look at how perfect that is. So let me go out and get it. Sorry. Let me go ahead and get this. Get this. Bring it down here. I think I want to use that evening evergreen very lightly because you don't have a lot of space on the stamp. I'm sorry, what I meant was the amount of the typeface is so small compared to the block that you don't really want to push down too much. And I'm gonna go, oh, see, I already put that down. So now I have to go, I'm committed. There you go. And last but not least, we're going to mount it on the cardstock. You could pop it up if you want. I'm not going to. Oh, yeah, there's my husband putting something in the dog's dish. Make sure you have that nice little frame all the way around. 
We'll put the inside in. You can add an extra grating there or just use this all for writing space. And you know what I'm going to do? Just to continue, let's go ahead and just put... We're going to go ahead and just put this on the inside. And you know what? On that one... So I want to add a lot more weight. I'm just going to go ahead and put. You know, what? I am going to use it because so I want to see how it looks with it. I'm going to use one of these. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so there you are, guys. Let me go ahead and burnish that on the back side again, so it lays a little flatter. And there you are. And I still have more to do. Another card for later. So there you are, guys. Have a great Sunday. Have a safe week. And I hope to see you on Wednesday for my Watch It Wednesday video. Take care.